Hey guys, this is Girish and today I'm going to tell you how to install Ubuntu in a virtual machine in your computer. Right now I am in a Mac, but you can install, uh, but you can virtualize Ubuntu in any computer. So first of all, you will need the software VirtualBox or the VMware, one of the softwares, VirtualBox or VMware, which will actually hold our Ubuntu computer, which will actually hold our Ubuntu machine. So head over, uh, fire up your favorite browser and go to VirtualBox. Make a Google search VirtualBox download. And uh, I will go to that link, download so Oracle VM VirtualBox. And uh, download uh, the VirtualBox for your machine. I am on an OS X, so I will install the OS X AMD64 version. So the second thing that you need to grab before opening VirtualBox is the ISO image, the Ubuntu ISO image. So let me make a Google search open to download and I will head to, to the first link download Ubuntu desktop if we will be grabbing that Ubuntu desktop version I'm on a 64-bit computer so I will download the 64-bit version if you're on a 32-bit version please download the 32-bit version and I will click not now take me to the download so this will let me start downloading the Ubuntu ISO which we will install to the virtual box after both the Ubuntu and VirtualBox has been done downloading and installing, fire up VirtualBox from your dock or uh, from doing a, or perform a spotlight search for VirtualBox. So we will create a new operating system which has to be run virtually on a machine. Uh, so let's do that by clicking new. Uh, the first option will be naming our operating system. Let's name it Linux. Ubuntu. So it detects that we are installing a Linux Ubuntu 64-bit version. Let's continue and uh, set the RAM size. Uh, I will set that to 1024. Although I, if I remember correctly, Ubuntu's minimum requirement is around 512 MB. I will set it to around 102 oh, gigabyte of memory. Uh, let us continue. Yes, I will create a virtual hard disk. Create. Yes, I will select the VDI virtual box disk image. Click on continue again. And yes, uh, the physical drive has to be dynamically allocated. Click on continue again. Select the uh, size of the virtual machine that you want. And uh, I will set it around 10 GB. Okay, let's create that. Now we have to start the the operating system and install the Ubuntu image that we downloaded it earlier so please do that by clicking on the start button and let's wait for it to start then it will ask the location of the ISO image I have my ISO image here in, in the desktop so I will navigate to my desktop and click on the Ubuntu 15.04 desktop AMD64 version and click open navigate to where you have saved it will most probably be in your download section I have in my desktop so I navigate it to my desktop and click start let's close all these after a few seconds you will land up on this screen the welcome screen where Ubuntu will tell you uh, will give you the option to try it or install it we are going to install Ubuntu so let's click on the install option okay in my Mac is not connected to power supply, but that not a problem. I am not going to download updates and I'm not going to install third party. So let's continue anyway. Continue. Yeah, erase disk. I want to erase this and install Ubuntu. This disk is the 10 GB that we allotted earlier. And this does not affect your host computer, host operating system. So we will click on install now. If you continue the changes list, it will be written to the disks. Yes, sure. Click on continue again. After you have set your location and set your keyboard layout, you will be uh, you will land on this screen where you will have to fill your location. So I will fill my location really quick. What
after you have set your credential you will land up on this screen where it is retrieving files and downloading open to this will take about 20 to 30 minutes depending on your computer after the installation is complete the computer will ask for a restart you should restart the computer then after restarting the computer you will be met by this password prompt now if you can see if you want to run ubuntu in in full screen in a virtual machine you can't do that natively right now so what you will need you will need to install uh, extra bundle of software i will show you how you can do that let me just first log into my computer right now After you have logged in, click on uh, Devices and then go to Insert Guest Editions CD Image. This will mount a CD to Ubuntu which has some software which will help us run this virtual machine. It is asking for my password. Wait. Enter your password and authenticate it. After that, it will uh, install the software and it will run. In full screen also make sure to check uh, 3d acceleration on your machine this will help Ubuntu to run lag free on the machine uh, you can access us you can access a machine settings only when it is turned off so make sure to turn it off before accessing the settings you can access the settings from this panel and you can access the the 3d acceleration settings from going to display and uh, enabling and clicking on enable 3d acceleration after installing the guest edition cd and enabling the 3d acceleration you can see that we can now run ubuntu on full screen without any lag